In this clip, we're going to learn how to assemble the breathing circuit and check on your ventilator for proper function. So you need to collect the items that you're gonna use with the breathing circuit. You're going to need a blue temperature probe. This is for the Fisher Paykel heaters. You're going to need a HEPA filter and then the actual circuit with the heater basin, which all comes together. So you can take your HEPA filter, apply it to the expiratory limb, which on the ventilator, it will tell you inspiratory and expiratory. Some ventilators do not, the servo eye, however, does. Two patient, inspiratory, expiratory, front patient. Okay. We're gonna take our heater basin, open it up. This blue part is just trash, we won't need this. This is what we'll use to actually hook to the water bag for to make humidification. You just pull that off and let it hang. This just goes onto the heater. Just push this little button and then slide it back. You need to make sure when you slide it back that the edges, the silver edge is under the edges of the heater. And then it just clicks in. On your circuit, you're gonna have a short limb that doesn't have any heated coils inside. This will go on your inspiratory side and then on either side of the heater basin. It doesn't matter. Then you'll pull your circuit, which has two limbs, inspiratory and expiratory. Blue is inspiratory, white is expiratory. Make sure that this never touches the ground or touches anything dirty as this is going to be going onto your patient. We want it to be clean as possible. So, your white limb, expiratory, will connect to your HEPA filter, and then the blue limb for your inspiratory will connect to the wet side of your heater. The last thing is to put your temperature probe in. This end will plug in to the side of the heater. There's just a little hole there for it to plug into. You'll have a short end which goes on the wet side of the heater. Same thing, just plugs in. There's a little notch there, make sure that lines up and make sure this is all the way seated in there. If you don't, it will cause a leak and your ventilator will not function properly. You heard that little snap that it snapped in there. That tells you that it's in there correctly. The long end will go up top at the patient end. There's a port, you just open it up and then this goes in there. And again, make sure it's all the way seated in, other, so you, otherwise you'll have a leak. So you don't want it to be sticking out like that. So all the way in there. The last step for the heater probes is, there's two cords, there's yellow and there's blue. These ones are not patient specific, they stay with the heater, so you just have to connect them. There's a three prong and a, a two prong, they can only go one way. The two prong goes on the expiratory side. And then the three prong comes back here on the inspiratory side and gets plugged in the same way. completely set up. Everything's in, nice and tight. Your connections are tight. You have a filter and you have a cap to occlude the top of the airway. Okay, so from there we can perform the check on the ventilator to make sure that it's functioning properly before it's applied to a patient. So we now need